This is an exciting day for you. And your families, they're very proud of you. But someone in your family, some way directed you to the Chicago Fire Department. It could be a member of your family, your mother or father, or brother or sister, or a neighbor. Some way you said you wanted to become a member of the Chicago Fire Department. And I thank you because you're a public servant. You will stand out because you're in uniform. All men and women in uniform stand out. From the U.S. military all the way down to local government and state government, you wear a uniform. There's pride in there. There's history in there. There's sacrifice in that uniform. And to me, that's what Chicago Fire Department is all about. It's a brotherhood and sisterhood today. That's what it is. You rely off of one another. You become role models in the community. I don't care where you grew up. I grew up on the 35th in Lowell. Engine 29, when I was a kid, I was down there continually to see the firemen. Get on the fire truck, talk to them, outside, inside. And we went to a, when they went down Low Avenue, everybody waved to them. But most importantly, we always thought they're going to help someone. They don't even know the person. They don't know their race. They don't know their creed, their sexual orientation. They don't care about politics. They're going there to help somebody. And when you get there, you are continually helping somebody. And that is the history of the Chicago Fire Department, helping people. Don't let one incident ever mar the history of the Chicago Fire Department. Because people are vulnerable. One individual, two individuals, three individuals has nothing to do with you. Because the Fire Department has that history of service and helping people when they need the help the most. And to me, that's what Chicago is all about. What a great day. Your families are here. Finally, spring has arrived on April 1st. We're not sending you back to training. No way. <laughs> There'd be a riot here if I ever did that. Uh, you notice that even the mayor couldn't even tell the graduates what to do. It's the fire department that makes that decision. It's your exempt rank that make the decision. The mayor doesn't make that decision. It's those who wear the uniform make the decision on your behalf. Those orders were given never by the mayor, by those men and women in uniform at all times. To me, that is the creed of the Chicago Fire Department. I wish all of you a wonderful Easter, Passover, the holidays that we show, your families coming together. I guess it's appropriate, very close to Easter, because you're in uniform. Every young kid or girl got a new dress or a new suit or a sport coat, whatever it was, in and around Easter. But there's something sentimental about this as we see another generation coming into the fire department. Smarter, more disciplined, understanding the job, having different outlook on life as compared to others in the past. Because what we see now is difficulty and challenges. And there'll be a lot of changes coming on. No one's to blame the economic crisis. You could sit here all day and blame somebody. Shoot that, you're wasting your time. You're wasting a lot of time. We're in this situation, and we're going to get it out. We, this country, is going to get out because the sacrifice that people have made for this country, and even today, they're making sacrifice. Young men and women in Iraq, Afghanistan, all over the world, fighting for this country and democracy. Because that's why we have to win this battle, dealing with the economy. We cannot let our, our brothers and sisters who are out of work, who can't get a job, who graduated, we cannot forget about them. This country has to do something about it. Because if we don't, we fail another generation. And your generation will be a ge better generation than any other generation. I'm convinced of that. Because you know why? You see it on the battlefield every day in fire departments and police departments. You see it every day in the military. Another great generation, greater, I say, the sacrifice they're making as volunteers. As you raise your hand, you take the badge. Volunteer, you want this job. You're a volunteer, you want this profession. It is a profession, be proud of it. Most importantly, come home to your family. Making sure that everybody has the discipline and training. Don't let anyone ever je jeopardize your life who's not ready to do it, in the sense that they're not trained well. Be not afraid to speak out, because you want to come home to your families. You want to see your children, eventually your grandchildren, in a society like ours. But I congratulate you. I'm very proud 
of you and your families and thanking you. I want to thank you personally that you want to become a member of the Chicago Fire Department. God bless you and thank you.